Hi guys, my name is Sean. I'm a houseplant enthusiast from Jakarta, Indonesia. I'm in Singapore at Far East Flora, a huge garden center with tons of affordable and beautiful houseplants across many genres. I regularly cover rare plants on my channel, but I actually love common plants just as much. The garden center has helpfully labeled their plant IDs, providing ample opportunities to learn about different plant species. We don't like to talk about plant prices much on this channel, but I make an exception to this episode because I wanted to understand how much Singaporeans are spending on their greenery. I was pleasantly surprised to see how affordable houseplants are in Singapore. Do comment down below if you agree. Throughout this video, I share my own experience caring for some of these plants and speculate on the care of others that I have not yet had the chance to look after. I invite viewers to share their own knowledge and tips in the comment section. It is important to know that this video is not sponsored. I stopped by the store with no warning or appointment but was warmly welcomed by the friendly staff. Be warned, this video may cause impulse purchases as I myself couldn't resist buying some of these plants during editing process. So sit back, relax and enjoy the tour of Far East Flora. When we come in here, we're greeted by an orchid section here. We're not gonna spend too much time because we did cover a lot of orchids in the last few episodes. But down here, there are rows of ficus and this is actually a very rare ficus called the ficus shivariana. It's super rare in Indonesia, very, very expensive. But over here, it's only $19.90. How cool is that? Uh, ruby red, stunning. And these guys are only $9.90 Singapore dollars. This is a Clusia rosea. Actually, yesterday I discovered one with a variegation on the inside. That little cutting was 150 Singapore dollars. But this one here, this is $203 for a plant that is already branching out like crazy. Look at all these branches coming out. These guys do quite well indoors. They're actually really, really stunning. Uh, we're gonna warm up with these succulents, some Hawarthias. We're not gonna spend too much time here, but if you're into succulents, feel free to pause the video so you can see the kinds of succulents that are sold here in Singapore. This Dikia, $30, very cute. And these are amazing, this Portula Portulaca Molokinens. It's good that everything here has the ID on them and the price. So this is $4. Look at that, it's really, really beautiful. I've seen these on Instagram actually, they, they look like roses. Some cute cacti here. Cacti are very affordable here, $5 Singapore. And this golden barrel cactus. They're actually a bit more pricey, $115 but they are quite expensive anywhere in the world. Cute little, this cactus mix. But this is the Mammillaria, if I'm not wrong, $12. Look at it, it's flowering. How cute. Some cute little Fatonias here, $5. But look at that, it's like a mix of different Fatonias in there for $5. They're not super easy to care for. It's for more advanced plant people. Fatonias, there's a few species in there. This is a bit more expensive, $10.80. And this is a Pylea, uh, $3.50. This is actually very easy to grow, that's why they're a little bit inexpensive here. Very, very good price on these. And here, these are Ripsalis. How amazing is that? Look at this huge pot of it. This is really, really gorgeous. This is like $238 Sing dollars, but it's like super crazy lush. These guys are actually quite indestructible, quite easy to grow. This one's also very expensive. This is the Paradoxa, $245. But when you have like a vine like this, I see it's dried off a bit, you can just cut it and stick it back into the soil. It can actually grow back. This is how you propagate them. Very easy plant to propagate, but it does take them a long time to get to this size. They look almost like a Hupertia, which is really amazing. And let's look at some of these Kalankoes. So they are the same genus as the mother of thousands. This is assorted here, 580. So they do flower. These guys are known for their flowers. And the succulent-like leaves is going to suggest that these guys don't like water. But this is one of the plants that can actually bloom well indoors. Look at that, there's actually a lot more over here. And if you're curious, a peace lily about this size is $11 here in Singapore. It's actually really, really gorgeous. It's got a little flower coming out, but there's multiple vines in there. I, I saw like four different vines inside this pot. It's going to bush out very quickly. And more Kalankoes. This is such a big pot. I did not know that they can reach so high up. This is only $10.80. Wow. For this, this is so beautiful, you guys. 
stunning. And these guys, if I'm not wrong, they can also be propagated just by the leaf cuttings. These are the Ficus pomilla white, 880. Actually, these guys are viners. If you leave them by a wall, they will creep everywhere. They'll fill up the wall. Really, really stunning. They can take a bit of direct light, if I'm not wrong. This is probably also a Ficus pomilla. Sorry, it's the Hedera. They look so similar. Look at that side by side. This is the Hedera helix, which is an English ivy. Stunning. These are also creepers. If you place them by a wall, they can quickly take over. Gorgeous. These guys have some seriously dark foliage. My goodness, like a pot like this. Look at that. Stunning. I guess these guys were grown in lower light, which they actually like uh, to achieve this very dark foliage. So it's 2180 for this big pot of it. Some Peperomia argaria. This is $11. Massive leaves. And here are some more Marantas. These guys are not as big, but it's full pots of this. Look at that. It's a whole lot of cuttings jam packed in there. This is stunning. Not an easy plant, not for beginners at least, but my gosh. I have a feeling that they like it somewhat cooler. I don't think they like it sweltering hot. Some different Dracaenas here. It says the Dracaena kanji, 1380 for this plant. This is not a common Dracaena. And this one is the, uh, what is it called, the kiwi something. So it's lemon surprise, 1380 for this plant. Beautiful variegation on this. Some begonias back here. These are actually quite common begonias, 1390. There's actually not too many begonia selections here. They're not so popular because they're not easy to care for for the average growers. This one is a begonia rex. 780. Now this plant really is very curious. I've not really seen this before. It says it's a Hachera assorted. $12. Something tells me this likes bright light. Maybe a bit of direct light, but I could be wrong. But something about its growth habit and the coloration tells me that this is probably a direct sunlight loving plant. Comment down below if you have any experience growing this plant. And finally, we have some Alocasias. beautiful the underside looks so stunning on this this is also really beautiful this is a ZZ Zenzi or the dwarf ZZ plant look at that this is actually a huge pot this took a while to and it's putting up some new leaves it took a while for this plant to get to this size and the price on this is 158 this is a very good price for such a slow growing plant this is a Spathiphyllum, it's, it's, it's a diamond P21, $188, but it is a large pot. Look at that. And I really love that the leaves have wonderful variegations on them. And the flowers, they do have these variegations as well. And this is the all green peace lily. This is a lot cheaper, this is $65. And it's already flowering a little bit. This is a Dracaena marginata, $15. It's a tricolor, if I'm not wrong. It's actually got three colors in there. Yeah, you see the variegation and you see a bit of pink on it. If you look at it from up above, it's quite cute as well. These guys can get turned into an indoor tree if you leave it, if you give it more time. Cute little pots down there. Look at that, look at this little kitty cats. Some ZZ plants, these are the ZZ ravens, $33. Some with the larger pots back there. This one, $25. This is cheaper than the little one. I wonder why that is. This is very, very good price for this plant. This is a regular ZZ plant, $12.90. Fendi, who's shopping with me now, he actually said that this is the new variety of ZZ plants. So they tend to be more round, kind of like, like citrus leaves, like mm -hmm. if you grow citrus. Yeah. And the older varieties are more sharp. I. I think I, I'm inclined to agree. I, can, I don't have the picture in my head now, but these guys are a bit stubbier and rounder on the leaves. But this is so joyful to watch. Look at how much it's growing. And the price is $12.90, very good price. These guys are very indestructible. And I'm sure this is probably one of the best sellers here. It's right next to the Kishir. This is very cute. It's $8 only, but it's actually a Dracaena. This is what it looks like when the leaves have burst out. 
but you can actually just stick them in here and you never know what you're gonna get you don't, you don't know how many growth points you're gonna get and which direction they're gonna grow out of but for eight dollars this is a steal this is a philodendron that looks like a birkin just by the shape of it but like birkin without the white stripes but this is actually philodendron green it's six dollars it's actually quite nice it's like understated i've actually not seen this a lot but something tells me that this is probably a very common plant these peperomia four dollars only very good price on these this is very good for indoors for like office cubicles and maybe bathrooms they do require medium light i might have a video on how to care for this and propagate this this is very very easy to propagate and if you give this a nice pot wow it can really really take over a space really well this is definitely a plant that really deserves a nice pot, like a nice cover pot. If I'm not wrong, this is a string of turtles. It was expensive in Indonesia at some point. This is $5 only. This is Ficus Green Sunny. Very cute. This is a mini Pilea. This is probably not so easy to cover $6 only. But I think I see this plant around. It does trail. And I have a feeling that they get bald very easily and you will always have to propagate this plant to get it to be lush again. This here is interesting, it bubbles. Oh, it's called the bubble plant. <laughs> it's $5. Now this is really interesting. It's a Peperomia Pixie, $5. I've not seen this Peperomia before and I really, really want one. Look at that. This is quite cute actually. They look like the Peperomia elongata, but with really, really tiny leaves. Look at that. Now this is the Peperomia caparata and it's called the Moonlight, $5 very very good price these guys are actually fast growing they're not easy to rehabilitate if you overwater or you keep them too dry they don't ship very well so if you're gonna buy it you better buy it offline in a store like this and this is a beautiful peperomia this is called the peperomia puteolata it's oftentimes confused with the peperomia parallel these guys have much more succulent like leaves beautiful foliage and the new leaves come out really cute like this and they expand in size and they harden Really, really stunning. It's flowering like crazy. This is one that trails and it looks a lot like a Dishkidia. Really, really beautiful, actually. A lot of fake plants are fashioned after this plant. This is the model for it. And these are Hoya carnosas. Pardon the fungicide that's on this. It actually benefits them a lot when you have fungicide treatment for them. It's $5, not a bad price at all. Alocasia watsoniana. This is from Indonesia. I mean, originally the species is from Indonesia, not the stock. I actually don't know where they source the stock, but I have a feeling they're all imports. This is $24 because Singapore don't really have a lot of large nurseries where they can grow these plants out. So they're usually imported from different countries. Huge philodendron gloriosums. This looks like a full pot of it. Yeah, it's like a whole pot of it. I can't even lift it up because it's like caught on to other pots. This is $18 only, you guys. This is only $18. Yeah, there's a few plants living in there. How stunning. Now this one here is a little bit variegated, so it might be a steal. Aglonema, Pictum, Tricolor. Very good price. This is only $50, but there's like four vines in there and look at how lush this is. Normally you would buy a single plant at this price. This also has four plants living in it and the variegation is so beautiful. This is a very, very good steal for this plant. And then the Syngomium elbow, this is, used to be very expensive too, but they are such fast growers. This is $6.90. And then this is the Skindapsis Trubii Moonlight, $6.90. Very good price. There's actually a lot of cuttings in there, and this trails really beautifully. This is a very slow growing plant, mind you. Really, really beautiful. And down here, I think this is a piece of, yeah, it's a Spatophyllum sense sensation variegated it's ten dollars this is a very very good price for this look at that they look so beautiful this is actually slower growing because of the variegation but their flowers do come variegated too so very very excited for this one very good price actually huge pot of skindapsis $12.50 but look at how lush and full this is the so skindapsis pictus they look so nice lush like this they actually do make ground cover as well and they also can be used as a trailing plant. Syngonium milk confetti, only $5 for this. Everything here is very, very affordable. Philodendron burlamarks, variegated, $20.
There's a few selections here. And just so you know, Singapore actually has a high income level. So this is actually very, very affordable for Singaporeans. This is Singonian Batik, 690. So the average middle class Singaporean will find it very, very easy to absorb the cost of these plants. And here, these are the Sansevierias, 490 for a moonshine. Sansevieria, some of them are already putting up babies like this. And there's a lot back there. I think they're all standard at around 390, which is four dollars. There's some back there too. Some cute ones. Whale fin, let's see, this is twelve dollars. And let me see one with more leaves. That one. Cute. This is the Trifasciatas. Probably a bestseller here because they're so easy to grow. They're popular plants, they look beautiful, and they do purify the air quote-unquote a little bit more maybe than other plants and they do release oxygen at night so very good for bedrooms this is the Bentel sensation ten dollars for a plant that this lush this is quite nice actually bromeliads this is a bit pricey but I don't know the prices of bromeliads in general this is thirty four dollars there's probably many varieties this is, oh this is only three ninety it's four dollars for this little one called the Neoregilia Fireball. Yeah, there's some really cute ones here. This one is really interesting. This is also $6. And there are these uh, very, very cute Sansevieria Honeyi. So all they're dwarf Sansevierias, $12. Pachira Aquatica, these are braided. I believe the Chinese like this kind of braiding and also find that these plants do bring fortune to the family. This is an interesting fern. It's a Paris Argyria, it says. $5, it's still a baby, it's variegated. How cute. These guys tend to shoot up these fronds and then they become longer and longer. They become kind of like runners. Very and more fur, look at this, this is super cute. This is a Hemionitis arifolia. 450 super cute I actually have one of these they came as a weed in my garden but then I underwater this is actually very moisture loving plant ah these are the larger ferns very cute and these guys they don't want to dry out at all and they need more light than most people think cute little asplenium baby asplenium five dollars this one's crinkled so there's many varieties of them some of them are have like straighter leaves this is the more crinkle ones. Yeah, there you go. This is another Asplenium. This is the more common ones. A lot of them I think can get quite big, but this one is relatively small and compact, but beautiful. Look at that. And this one's with the frills around the edge of the leaves. We do see this quite often in landscaping, in offices and bathrooms. Not difficult to care for at all, actually, if you ask me. For $10 for a lush pot like this, now this is still probably a baby, but they can get absolutely large and enormous if you give the time. It, but it's really known for its like reptile-like fronds that looks like this. And there are more ferns here, the Adiantum here, the maiden hair fern, $5. This is super cute. It says it's a Dorioptaris cordata, $3.90. Look at how these fuzzy little leaves and the leaf shapes are cute. And when it put out a new frond, it does so. These are probably a bit terrarium type plants, which is interesting. We see more maiden hair fern and more interesting shaped ferns here. And I love that everything has a name on it. So we can put a name to the face. Terrace Tricolor, 450. The prices are actually quite good for the ferns. Really beautiful. 450 for this one. This is probably the more common fern, the Valia. This is actually a footed fern like the rabbit's foot fern. So they put out these like little feet that grows frown out of it. This is $4. They actually look really good hanging. You can actually hang them and then the legs will come out of the pot and start putting out fronds and take over a space. And there are more ferns here. This is super cute. I've not seen this one before. Selaginella, huh? It's $8 for a pot like this. It's like super lush. But look at how beautiful this fronds are. That's amazing. This will fill out a green space rather well. Look at that. 
Thank you so much for coming with me, by the way, guys. I'm having a blast here. I know that a lot of the plants here are not rare or collectibles by any means, but I like to see what everyday people shop for their everyday needs, because some of these plants may have been for terrariums, some of them may have been like for the living rooms, also for commercial spaces, like those will do really well for like outside of elevators, bathrooms, and things like that. So it's nice to know what's available in every region. I hope to travel more to show you more types of plants and also to see how much people are paying for them and also how people are caring for them. For example, this is in a self-watering type pot. Interesting, right? It looks so modern and clean and apparently the plants can thrive in this kind of setting. Fortune bamboos, these are actually dracaenas that are grown just like this and then they're sold bare root. So they can actually root themselves in water or just in soil. Can you tell me, Fendi, how old is this tree again? Do you remember? This is 250 years old. My gosh, yeah. that's like older than our parents and our grandparents. Yes. Do you remember the price? Can I think it's 30,000. 30,000. My gosh. Right. This is the like For human comparison, it's like. Yeah. Yeah. It's amazing. And it's like branching out like crazy, right? I wonder how they ship this entire thing <laughs> in a truck. But this is like uh, an olive tree, so it's yeah. like a. And it's imported from Spain. My gosh. And this uh, quintessential house plant, I guess these are sold. These are the ficus laratas. I don't think they're fashionable anymore. But do you remember a time when everyone was like looking for it? Yeah. Yeah. But I mean, it's still beautiful, don't get me wrong. But the care is not for beginners for this. And you need really good light. But they, are, they can be quite beautiful if you know how to care for it correctly and place them correctly. And this is Fendi's favorite plant. Yeah. Uh, but let me cheat a bit. This is the. Pythelobium, corn confertium. Sorry, I don't, I don't know this piece. But it's a tree apparently that does well in shade. Yeah. Bright shade. So it's called an ever fresh tree as well. Ever fresh because it's fresh every, every day. day. <laughs> <laughs> but they close the leaves at night. So when, you, when it's night time, they'll be yeah. fully shut. Yeah. Oh, like shut like this? Yeah, fully shut, yeah. We've totally flattened. Oh, cute. Why do they, I, maybe to re reduce loss of water. Probably, and things yeah. like that probably there's some like gardenias i see back there we're not gonna go too close to the flowering plants this beautiful crassula ovada a huge pot of it also a popular house plant especially for the neglectful plant parent that is perfect and i see some fruiting type plants papaya singapore is very limited in space but where possible a lot of people do try to grow things in their balconies and to harvest a little bit of fruit. As, uh, as Fendi explained in the last episode, the government's trying to encourage Singaporeans to grow their own food produce, to learn more about homegrown vegetables and fruit. This is $50 for like a little citrus plant. This is probably used for Chinese New Year. This is a curry, $12. Very, very cute, very fragrant. I'm not gonna rub my hands into this, but this is very, very fragrant. Look at these beautiful ficus elastica. They're actually very, very dark, very burgundy. Sorry, this is maybe the regular form. This is the dark form. Now you can see them side by side. Huh, this is actually prettier for me because I like the complicated colors that they put out. But let me look at the price real quick. The regular one is, there's no price on these. <laughs> oh, it's hang, hang on here. Uh, the dark form is, Sorry, oh my god, I still cheated, it's not, 55, $55, but there are multiple vines in there for this lush and healthy plant. And I have a feeling that this is gonna be a lot less expensive for the regular one, let me check it out. 65, huh, this is more expensive than the dark one, I'm really surprised. Color me surprised. Super beautiful. These guys are indestructible as well. They do well indoors and they can take full sun as well. But you never want to suddenly move them. If you want to change their environment, move it slowly into the environment. This is a very popular plant all over the world for that reason. They are resilient. Huge, huge uh, pots of pothos or epipremnums. They are already coming up the pole. This is the yellow philodendron, I think. $38 for this large. Look at that. I'm going to show it from up above. Large, large plants already coming up a mouthful. This is actually a very common philodendron. We do see this on the roadside. Philodendron heteraceum. Look at that. How stunning is that? 
and this is like a lush part of them growing up uh, against the moth pole this is 35 dollars it actually does take them a while to get to this size and to get them to adhere to the moss pole so this is like amazing if you need like a plant that takes like medium to maybe even low light this is a contender that does well indoors this is also really beautiful this is the philodendron philodendron red congo my gosh i really love the pink around the edge of the leaves and look at that the sun is hitting it just nice so it's beautiful but let's take a closer look this is a very common philodendron the variegated is so beautiful the bed of them this is really really elegant beautiful and they're easy to care for Tradescantia zebrina 880 these guys are super fast growing and they are a lot of work to keep up because you always have to keep propagating them to st and stick them back in the pot or else they're going to give you balding spots this is beautiful actually it's called the hemigraphis colorada 11 dollars they trailed rather beautifully huh philodendron lynette actually one of my favorite philodendrons they actually are quite rosette beautiful leaves they're actually very common and very very inexpensive where i'm from in indonesia i don't know why somatophyllum goldie eye it's like a pot with two plants living in it 1290 are you serious this is like very very affordable you guys this is insane this plant is actually very expensive in indonesia wow i actually do see these used indoors in malls and such i've always wondered how they can afford it but this is a very good price for this plant i'm guessing perhaps this may have come out of tissue culture that's why they are so affordable that's why they're all around the same size and people can actually put two different plants in one pot now this is very peculiar what are you something tells me it likes full sun they do look like a piper this one that's providing the red underside this is the excocheria cochichinensis 18 dollars for this pot they're actually beautiful when they're variegated like this grab the phylum pictum or pictus this is like 18 dollars really really stunning look at that oh my gosh i asked for the id once in one of my tour videos someone shouted out the id and i've been wanting one since then they like full sun if i'm not wrong or at least direct sunlight thank you whoever told me the plant id it's been in the back of my head since then i remember it for the rest of my life beautiful too i don't know what this is look at that look at the leaves this one is it says Laurel Petalum Chinensis, $25. Beautiful. Look at that. The new leaves come out a little bit red and they turn almost black. Beautiful shrub. Now this next plant here, finally I got the ID. It says it's Osmoxylum, $18. Beautiful. I've, I've talked about this in my Chiang Mai video and I quite like its blooms as well. Gorgeous foliage and I guess we see them often in landscaping but I just never knew the name but the leaves are also quite stunning it's so nice out here you guys even if you're not buying it's like worth coming out here to look at all these different foliage or also learn about their names the new leaves are beautiful and something tells me that these blooms and they bloom quite beautifully Ravenia spe Spectabilis 580 massive pots of spider plant this is a Bonnie variety, Chlorophytum camosum bonnie, eight dollars. They got all these babies up top. They actually like more light than we think, and they're stoloniferous. They put out these cute little babies that we can propagate from, or we can just leave it as it is. Beautiful philodendron, Prince of Orange, I think. Yes, nine eighty. Beautiful. Something tells me that they probably variegate very well if the variegated versions are out there Senecio macroglossus variegated 890 they look really nice hanging like this they're actually very succulent like leaves very fun to pet I have one of these and I have a video on how to care for it and to propagate it they hate water they can be overwatered easily but then they're so easy to propagate 
and the green form looks just as beautiful as the variegated because look at that they have the dragon head shape on each of the leaves it looks like a tree and something tells me it's a chaflera but i've been wrong before and this is really really tall it's over two meters tall this used to be called the caladium lindenii but i don't know if this is still a caladium 15 dollars only for a pot this is quite nice a pishkia i've not seen this variety before gorgeous but they put up babies like this and usually the tip is when you have a baby take it and stick it back into the pot the baby will root and give you even more babies so this is one thing that you should do with these plants like just lay them on top and leave it be fast growing easy to grow forgiving hoya carii variegated this one's got a variegation on the inside 33 dollars very good price for this slow growing so very good price for that that's a Hoya pubicalic splash large pots these are probably already blooming size probably ready to bloom I don't see the price on this but these are also some of the more affordable Hoyas so I don't think these will cost a lot of money but they're also very good starter Hoyas now this plant used to be called the Calicia repens but it could now be called the Alatostema repens 890 they trail really wonderfully easy to propagate really beautiful plant if you look at the pattern up close now 75 dollars for a medinilla is this lambada this is what the flower is very short and stumpy but then it's already flowering i don't know man medinillas are gonna take over the health plant market someday i always scream when i see one really stunning oh that one is flowering better oh man i'm having a blast look at this flower so stunning not difficult to care for according to the experts alocasia lauterbachiana a 12.90 very decent size this will take off very quickly fast growing alocasia treat them for spider mites though as with the alocasias this is the uh what's it what's it called um Amazonica, it's been a while since I've seen this. They become very common very quickly. 1490. More Madinillas here. This is $18. Don't know the name of the variety here. How stunning. Aphelandra squarosa, zebra plant. Gives you yellow blooms that are actually very beautiful. I still haven't gotten the requirement down right. Something tells me they need very bright light maybe even direct sunlight, but I could be wrong, I could be very wrong. I killed mine very badly. But they're kept with other full sun plants, so I'm assuming this might be a full sun type plant. But if you Google them, they tell you that these are bright shade loving plants. So I don't know which is true. Do comment down below if you have any experience with this. This is 780. This is Cordyline. Very cute, very dwarf. Cordyline, they're very short they love direct sunlight now this here this is very curious indeed I don't know what this is and we're in the direct sun loving plant section so I'm assuming this is a direct sunlight loving plant Al Alternathera red yeah that's a full sun 750 house nice Portulaca assorted this is 880 for a full pot that is already blooming the flowers are actually quite spectacular quite beautiful I see them often as hanging plants 890 look at how cute the flowers are there's so many different varieties of these probably a lot of hybrids i always see them in bloom but i've not really paid attention to these like coral shaped flowers this is very peculiar to me normally they're like this but then they come in many different colors like that one sorry this is the more common ones but i think this might be the dwarf version which stays small and compact beautiful beautiful plants my gosh they provide such a nice pop of color probably direct light and full sun loving plants hydrangea these are not in full, full bloom yet but they look so healthy here this one's about to bloom and this is 12 dollars stunning stunning i actually love the leaves but they do flower quite beautifully this is not in full bloom yet but they do like cooler air if I'm not wrong they like it cooler climate but full sun yeah, it says bright semi-shade so i guess maybe not full sun but somewhere a bit cool although i have seen this grown in full sun but up in the mountains 
where it's uh, maybe not so hot. Peperomia scandens, variegata, a common plant, and I'm sure this is probably, let me guess, under $5. Yeah, just under $5. Fast growing peperomia, easy to grow. And these, I don't know what these are, let me see. But they are so feisty. It's a croton, huh? Tiny little croton, $7, but there's so much in that pot. Look at how all these plantlets in the pot. And the foliage is stunning. Yeah, I should have guessed a croton because of the coloration, but I've not seen croton with such fine, delicate, tiny little leaves. Stromanthi Triostar, $8. Good price. Look at how many plantlets are in here. Beautiful plants. Look at them in a bed like this. Also, if you give them like a nice pot or imagine like a gold color or bronze pot, these will look really good. Maranta Kirchoviana. Very, very fast growing, low light loving plants. Also low light loving plants, the Calathea ornata. Let me check out the price for you. $13. Some cute Calatheas here. I'm guessing probably around that price as well. Yep, $13.90. Yeah, they're cute, cute little Calatheas here. My gosh. Makayana, this is the Thai fusion. It says yellow fusion here, $14.90, a bit more pricey for this one. They are a bit slower growing. But they're absolutely stunning. I really actually love this one, Calathea. Not difficult to grow, not difficult at all. The Makayanas, I'm curious. Let's find out how much this one is. I'm going to guess somewhere around 12 to 14 dollars <laughs> 10.90 very good price actually if you're like a professional grower this will grow fast and easy for you if you're a beginner you might struggle with it but these guys are sensitive to change so yeah acclimatization might be a little bit challenging for these guys but look at how beautiful they are my gosh I know this is a common plant, we see them everywhere in landscaping, but man, I always have to like say hello when I see these plants. <laughs> it's a Tenanti. Let me, let me guess, this one is probably around $14. Yeah, $14.90. Gorgeous. They respond well to light. If you give them like lower light, they will revert to green very quickly. Very good light meters. Yeah, look at this lush pot of Calathea. And the back is dramatically different from the top. This is a huge full pot of it. My gosh. And this one, I'm guessing it's at least $20. Ah, oh, it's 15 only. Ah, oh, it says Kaliki Cora, $15. Look at all these growth points that are activated. This is a steel, man. This is also a Kaliki. I think this is called the flame something. The flame. Oh, it's B because, yeah, it's like French or something. $13. Beautiful. More understated type leaves. And with a red back. Also very lush. Look at that, all this new growth trying to push out. I'm guessing, I'm not looking at it. I'm guessing this is about $14. So it's $16.90. Now, this is a very difficult Calathea was the whiskey eye. Probably around... 18 because it's a little bit more difficult to grow yeah it's turning into a, a price guessing game i'm having a blast studying the prices and seeing how much people can afford how much these plants actually cost to produce and to sell so 12.90 good price not for beginners but beautiful velvety leaves very very elegant they look expensive zebrina also difficult but slightly easier than the plant before this one is $9.90 for a pot with a single plant coming out of it. They actually have really beautiful electrifying colors on the leaves. Super cute, I see many varieties. I'm gonna show you a top view, maybe even like from up here. How beautiful are these? Okay, so we're gonna take this opportunity to learn about the names of the Diefenbachias. I'm guessing, hang on, this one might be called the Sparkle. So it's an N, the different box here, N, $15. Beautiful. And then this is the reflector. But this is dark leaf, so I'm assuming this is grown in like a darker situation to give them that beautiful dark leaf and that amazing contrast. This one I'm guessing is about $25. $15. $15. 
and there's three plants living in here. This used to be rare actually, the reflector. Difficult to find at some point. Oh my gosh. I wish I lived here now. This is also beautiful. This is one that I have. Let me see what it's called. Diffenbachia camellia 1080. This is a more common Diffenbachia. But not the fastest growing, maybe because it has very few chlorophylls. This one here is the Diefenbachia Sublime, $10. And this is also an understated Diefenbachia. It's actually very common, $13. It's called the Diefenbachia Green Magic. Let's look at some of the features. Yeah, this is nothing too special, I would say, but this will probably fill out a space if you need a filler and probably a fast growing one. Out of all of these, because this is the greenest one with the most chlorophyll, this is probably one for beginners and one that's easy to grow. And if you actually shine it just right, maybe with a light from the bottom, these white stripes could potentially light up really beautifully, providing you with these beautiful white lines at night. Very nice to meet you guys. <laughs> and I think we're about to hit the, ro the last shelf, Aglonema. Uh, what is this? Uh, something... Siam Aurora. <laughs> Siam Aurora. Let's see, this is $7.90. This is actually one of the more affordable aglonemas. If you're a beginner, this is one that I really recommend. They will teach you about aglonema care. And affordable. There's a few plants living in this pot actually. Syngonium Wenlandii. Nice to meet you here in Singapore. Let's see how much you are here. $12, not bad. Let me see. Yeah, not bad. Look at that. There's a lot of plants living in here. They're fast growing, absolutely fast growing. But you should probably treat these often for spider mites. They're quite prone to spider mites. Cute spatiphyllum. This is zebra, $10. Very cute. Look at the stripes. Oh my gosh. Someone should buy them out fast because I think those in the back are getting too little light. So yeah, when you have plants grown under a shelf and against a wall, the back plants are not getting enough light. Aglonema section. This is the rich red, $11. This is the super white. I think I just bought one for, yeah, super white, 1090. As a comparison, I bought this in Indonesia last week. It was a little bit bigger than this. It's a bit wonkier, maybe I would say twice taller. And the one that I bought is around $11.50 or $12 Singapore, and this is not like $10.90. So I spent more money, but of course I bought a slightly larger plant than this. But this is going to show that Singapore plants are actually quite affordable, considering that their average income is easily four to five times more than Indonesian's average income. This is the Aglonema Red Beauty, $12. They're actually a very popular plant here in Southeast Asia. They symbolize luck, prosperity, and of course when you have this together, they look like a Christmas type setting and with reds, also very good for Christmas dec uh, for Chinese New Year decorations. Instead of buying like a Chinese New Year tree that you throw out year after year, this is $11. You could buy one of this and this will grow into a large, large bush of beautiful red foliage. And of course you will need to learn how to care for it. So, but these guys are very, very easy to care for. Monstera Edensonii, 690, 680, sorry, for this. I'm not gonna pull it out, it's like too lush. Way too lush, there's a lot of plant living in here. Very good price, you guys. Epipremnum Marble Queen. This one is $5. My gosh, I'm gonna take that dead leaf out for you. <laughs> They should hire me. I would really love to intern here. Amazing, look at that. Beautiful actually. Very, very underrated plant. The Philodendron Brazils. Probably, yeah, $3 for this. My gosh, for a full pot of it. The Epipremnum Aureum. This is a large, look at that. This is a large pot for only $8. This is probably also another common plant that does well here. A lot of people probably buy them. Easy to care for easy to propagate and to give to people. Oh, and I see Nepenthes up here. This is like the Nepenthes Gaia. Look at the picture here. My, oh, and the pictures are all coming up. 
this is a good quality in the panties. It's so healthy. But yeah, with that being said, I think I'm gonna bid you farewell now because I think I've gone through the entire space and this video is turning out to be maybe an hour long. Thank you so much for watching this all the way to the very end. I hope that you've learned about some interesting species found here in Singapore. And maybe with the pricing, we can kind of compare it with how much we're paying for plants in our area because every country, every city has different price points, but we do respect boundaries. We do respect differences. But overall, I'm pleasantly surprised that the prices of plants here are a lot less than I thought considering the high quality and high standards of living in Singapore and as you can see a lot of the plants here are actually very very healthy so thank you so much for watching this episode you guys and I'll see you in the next one bye bye thank you patreon members for supporting the channel should you consider joining as a member the patreon link is sean from only plants it can also be found in this video description i've started producing bonus contents for members these include plant hauls plant shopping and mini bite-sized adventures the same bonus contents will also be unlocked for you if you join to become a youtube member of the channel there is a monthly membership fee as small as a cup of coffee a month simply go to only plants channel page and click join. Your contributions help me grow the channel, do better content, and have a better quality of life. For that, I thank you from the bottom of my heart.